So can you talk about the figure in this new body of work? Yes, these paintings are based on a work I did in 2016 where I, um, I did exactly this painting and copied it onto a piece of paper and then I've been using that template over and over on a series. Um, initially I had made many experiments with these gymnastic contorted figures but I was always stuck on the face and the expression and it was a real distraction. So I ended up getting rid of the head, which I was um, worried about because it seems like a terrible thing to do to the figure and very violent. But in the end, I, I thought it was better because I could focus on the fluid form, on this uh, creature-like form. And um, I was interested in the, the surreal aspect of it and the ambiguity of it. What does the ambiguity do for you in terms of how the composition or the themes that come out of the work? Well, it's an interesting contrast, um, that form, which is, you can't really, um, you don't know what it is, in contrast to the specificity of what's happening through the window. And that was interesting to me to have um, a view in the painting of something that was um, something that I was looking at in the outside world, a uh, painting made from observation, which I love doing. And so in these paintings, I can combine both of those things, um, the specific and the ambiguous. This new series, you've been painting a lot of clouds. Can you talk about the clouds? Well, I love painting something from observation. And the clouds are a challenge because they're moving. So it's fun to try to paint something that um, will you know, look, change by the second, and that, that's a that's a challenge. I've enjoyed that, and I I want to um, put that into the painting to combine it with this figure, which is predetermined and repeated throughout the series. And you're working at the same time as you're working on the series. You're you're also making a larger abstract body of work, like the one behind you. That's right. I always have um, well, more and more, I have different bodies of work happening at the same time and um, it seems to just keep getting more expansive. But here you can see the, a couple of the yellow figure paintings and then this painting I have in the background is um, this mural size work. And I, I've been working on this for a few months now and I feel like it exercises a completely different part of my brain to work in this um, big abstract gestural way. And What's the relationship between the two? Do you see themes in terms of figure ground or between color or other crossovers between them? You know, I, I don't see that so much. I, what I'm exploring this, uh, these big paintings, is the material aspect of paint and all these different applications where I'll, I'll use rollers and I'll use my hands and um, oil sticks. Sometimes I take the whole paint down and work on it outside flat, then I'll put it back on. So it's a very physical uh, way of painting. And in these, uh, the other paintings that I do, there's, um, it's a much more quiet way of painting. And where I'm looking outside from observation, the brushes I use are typically smaller. And I also, uh, the fact that I have a template to work with makes it, um, there's more uh, certain, maybe more direction from the beginning. But um, I go back and forth and it's almost like a need to, to do that. I'll work on one for a while and then I, I, I will stop for a month and work on the other kind of painting for a while. And um, I, I seem like to need that and to like that. Have they changed as you started these series, whether it's the figure in a landscape or these sort of large mural sized abstractions. How have they evolved since you've been working on them? Yeah, um, I see that the one, the figures I'm making now in the studio, the sky or window area is getting more complex. And uh, this one, for example, is quite simple. You see that the cloud forms, it's almost um, like a textile. It looks like a batik, but it's generally, uh, it's very flat still. And the ones I'm making now are uh, much more, have more of a sense of depth and realism. 
And um, what's changed with the big paintings as I've been working on them is that I, I'm, I'm working on them for a longer period of time than I used to. So now the paintings will typically take months, whereas before it would be um, maybe two, three, you know, goes and, and days of work and then it'd be done. But now um, I feel more comfortable with more and more layers and more complexity. Is, um, is the relationship between them enhanced by the fact that you can, in a way, know when one of these is done or proceed quickly, whereas with the large ones, they are more open-ended and, and unclear? Well, I think what makes these big ones possible is that I have so many different kinds of paintings happening now in the studio, um, more than these two different series, but, um, and also because I work a lot with textiles now, that I just, um, there's a lot more patience and slowness with all the different things happening, and it, it becomes more incremental. Uh, before, if I was just working on one kind of painting, then all my attention would be there and there would be sometimes too much attention on the painting. But now if I have so many different kinds of works happening at once, I can sort of distribute my attention to all the different ones and let them kind of grow on their own in between.